it can be easy to assume that an extraordinary experience that's very different to a normal experience is something like a non-dual realization because it's just so abnormal it's so strange you know you can spread your entire being out into space and you know throw it around everywhere and everything can kind of go whoop 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 um and it can be amazing it can be really beautiful and it's like whoa like that's something really extraordinary that's like maybe hasn't even happened before it's just like this whole new way of being for me but that's not realization that's not non-duality um non-duality is a fundamental change in your in the way that the mind works the mind no longer relies on these dualities to perceive things and that's something which happens at a very base level of phenomenological phenomenological phenomenologi phenomenological level sensation level you know when things enter your being or arise or pass then they do it in a non-dual way so there could be thoughts you know there could be feelings there could be anything there could be the same insecurities and habitual patterns and you know bad behaviors um which have happened your whole life um and there could also be extraordinary experiences amazing experiences beautiful experiences um but it's just about how they're arising um in a dual pattern the way that they arise is there's a mind and there's experiences arising in that mind you know mind and experiences are the duality like this this these things are arising in this in this thing this space and in a non-dual mind, which is the real mind, which your mind already is, when you realize it, um, there's no arising and there's no passing away. Things are just kind of already happening as they are, and they're going to continue to happen as they are. And it doesn't matter what they are, they're still happening as they are, and there's no observer observing it. Even when an observer arises, it arises in a non-dual way. And that is the same mind that all people have. And it's the same mind that all beings have. And all beings includes every atom, every rock, every table, every tree. All beings have the same mind, which is the universe. And that mind, when connected to, disconnects you from that dual mind, or rather makes you see right through it. And then the body or the mind of the universe realizes that that's not necessary anymore for this body or mind. And then you're just in non-duality and things are just arising in a non-dual way then from then on. And that's a non-dual realization. Thanks for listening. Bye.